Steve Bermiacic, it's great to chat with you once again. Thanks ever so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me here. Excited. Is this an opportunity for you to announce to this new UFC generation, here I am, I'm Steve Bermiacic? So I've never left. I've been here for a while. No, no one changing in the guard. This has kind of been built as, you know, the GOAT's big farewell, the John Jones party. Do you kind of feel like the forgotten man in this situation, Stephen? I'm used to it at this point. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I don't care. And then I like to show up and ruin the party, which uh, I'll do again. Do you think he's in for a shock? Yes. Do you think when he tries to take you down and he can't take you down, he's going to panic? Yes. Do you think when you connect with the right hand, he's going to say, hold yeah. They hit a little be, bit harder at heavyweight. He might be looking up at me. So you're coming into this one really confident? Yes, sir. My man, man I looking see forward to it. What's the prediction? Knockout. Knockout, let's go. All right. What's up, buddy? How you feel? I'm great. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, bro. You, feel, you, feel, you look great, man. You look great. Man, you look great. To fight Charles Oliveira the first time, motivation comes easy. You're fighting for the belt. A rematch without that on the line, though. How easy was the motivation and where did you draw from it? I'm fighting for the title next with a win. So the way that's the way that I see it. You don't want to miss it because it's always good, right? Hey, I'm, fight of the night, fight of the year, every performance. It's always good. The most exciting guy in the UFC, and I fight on Saturday night. Don't miss it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm gonna get you right this time, bro. I don't know. That grip feels pretty good. Yeah, you feel it. I can't let you get too close. Uh, I can't let you get too close. Where you at, Bo? What's up? Ah! You coming down right now? Nope. Oh. <laughs> He's gone away. He's gone away. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him before. I'm staying over here. <laughs> What's up, everyone? John, when you break down Stipe, do you see him as the most skilled opponent you faced in the UFC? I think, actually, Daniel Cormier. Um, but Stipe's beat Daniel Cormier. Um, Stipe, he deserves to be here, man. He, he can wrestle. He always comes lean and in shape. He has great cardio. And, uh, and he has that right hand. We're very aware of that, and we're very prepared for that. I'm proud to be here. It's all a huge honor uh, to, to have your face on the billboards uh, in Times Square. It's, it's like one of the most prestigious things I've been a part of in my whole career. Thank you, sir. Great questions. Getting ready to go visit the New York Knicks. We're going to watch a little basketball, you know, support some fellow New Yorkers, and just get a feel for the arena, most importantly. I got you. I won't retire, bro. Here you go. I don't know how to hold it anymore. Never put a basketball in my hands again. Man, that's pretty exciting. The UFC has come such a long way. And I'm just honored to be in this position. And I'm excited for Saturday to give the fans what they want to see. It's going to be great. Hey guys, you see? Hey guys. You see? Let's talk about golf real quick. Are you a golfer? I'm terrible, yes. Because I think if there's a time in your life when you can commit to the game. Right? Yeah. His body too, he's kind of long and lean like yeah. those ways guys. I get, I, get, I get over 300 for sure. You get it 300? Yeah. If I'm 240, that's what I look for. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. We'll get there, you know, and then with you know, short game. Short grass. What's your putter? I have the long, dude, I got the broomstick. Do I, you really? Yeah, I, I got the broomstick, dog. Oh. I got the stick, dude. No, you do not. I swear to God, I got the whole thing. I, I, I got that. I want to get that. You can use as long as you don't ground it into your chest. Yeah. So long yeah, as yeah. it doesn't touch my chest, I'm just. Look at you. I can see it. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. You guys are good. Yeah, man. Na realidade, esse terno tem história, né, mano? Eu usei isso aqui na primeira luta com ele no evento. Eu vou usar agora na primeira vez que a gente vai se encontrar um olhar um pro outro. Pensei em algo assim. O vermelho é uma cor que eu gosto. E eu guardei ele num tipo. Eu nunca nem usei, nem né? fiz nada mais. E aí nesse time aí, pô, qual vai ser? O que a gente vai fazer? Eu falei, não. Vou entrar de novo, botar no vermelho. Diferença que eu não quis a gravata pra isso. Fingi o cara do baldinho. 
É o Severino. Severino, você se vira pra tudo, pô, faz a comida, você vira. E, mano, sou apaixonado no ouro desde pequeno, então é muito top você ter uns negócios loucos. A cruz, o leão do outro lado. O mesmo pessoal que fez pra mim, eu que fiz, né? O Potan, então é um pessoal que faz o bagulho da hora. Mas não dá pra ficar andando pela rua aí, não, de desfila, não. Eu uso um pouquinho e já passo pra alguém. Olha a elegância. Você já filmou alguém mais bonito? Fala pra mim. Esse é o segredo. Então é isso, tio. Vambora. Thank you for being here. We're thrilled that you're here. We've got a bunch of gifts we want to give you. Is a Nick jersey. Oh, nice. Yeah. for you. Thank you, sir. This is nice. The 09 is... I love it, yeah. I love it. All right, everybody. So this we made for you guys. Oh, that's awesome. Same exact. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Those are my boy band days with the good hair. <laughs> yeah, you look good. <laughs> yeah, come on. That's great. That's great. Let me get guys right here for me. This is an official FDMI workshop. Oh, yeah. With your name on it. You might as well get mad at where is that work? <laughs> my station. Yeah, this is good. awesome. It's going to fit. Oh, it'll fit. Oh, my God. This is awesome. I love it. Oh. Oh, oh no way. Yes. This is the is real deal. Real, the real deal Holy from these guys and us. It's got the number of men that we lost yes, on 9-11, yeah. and that's yours. Oh, my. This is, this is, I got goosebumps right now. I oh. have no idea. Oh. Like, this is awesome. Like, oh, right. really I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Good luck. I'm very thankful. I'm sorry. I was on. You have no idea. I'm not. I don't pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much, dude. That was awesome. What a good dude. Like, I got goosebumps. Me too. Like, it was crazy. Seriously, I was like, oh my god, this is unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. My pistol's okay. My pistol's okay. My pistol's okay. My pistol. <laughs> Welcome to the UFC 309 press conference in New York City. A destination that always warrants top billing. And this year's card is set to deliver once again on ESPN Plus pay-per-view from Madison Square Garden. What's up, New York? Thanks for coming out today. Who's got the first question? I'd like to start with John Jones. John, what does the emotions feel like right now? What's up, New York? How we doing? It, it feels great to be here. It's, it's always been a dream of mine to fight at the Garden. It's a very special thing. New York has some of the best fans in the world. And I'm, uh, I'm glad to be able to give you guys what you want to see. Would you describe this fight as personal to you now? It's very personal to me, yes. For you, Stipe, Stipe, do you even feel like you want to apologize for some of those things you said? I don't remember saying that. Like, he's looking at me like an that was no direct thing to him, and, and that when I got to bring it on, it was pretty much he was calling me out, telling me he's gonna beat my ass in front of a whole arena of people. So, sorry for defending myself. I apologize. Do you feel like this is personal now? I mean, I think every fight's personal, no matter what. I think you're fighting another man, another octagon, just you against him, and it's always personal. You brought your fire helmet with you today. I'm curious, what was the thinking in displaying that for us this afternoon? F FDA and Y game this right before I came on stage. Those men, those, men, those men are awesome, like, like, those are heroes right there, and I just, uh, it was, it was amazing to, uh, get that gift, I, uh, I got goosebumps. Question for Michael Chandler, you've never won in Madison Square Garden, Charles Oliveira has a win over you, how much does this fight mean specifically to fight Charles? I love challenges, I love climbing a big hill, um, I have shed blood in Madison Garden twice, um, I will draw blood in Madison Square Garden for a third time on Saturday night. Uh, big title implications against a guy who's already beat me, shattered my dreams of becoming lightweight champion. And on Saturday night, I submit myself as the number one contender, and my uh, next fight will be for the belt. Charles is beloved. Hey, listen, if you don't love Charles Oliveira, you're not a mixed martial arts fan. So I expect, give it to him. Hey, so I fully expect it. If you don't love Charles Oliveira, you can kick rocks. We're showing up on Saturday night. We're going to blow off the freaking roof off of Madison Square Garden, and you guys are going to love it.
A quest for Charles. Is there anything you want to say to the fans here in New York? Boa noite, boa noite. Eu tava esperando tudo isso aqui. Eu amo vocês. Isso aqui é, isso aqui é um sonho que eu tô vivendo. Eu sou em ser conhecido, eu sou em ser respeitado. Eu sou muito grato por tudo isso que vem acontecendo na minha vida. Vocês são. We're gonna rip this apart. We're gonna square these guys off. Thank you, New York. Thank you, Joel, and thank you, guys. Thank you.